How's it going everybody? My name is Philip and today we're going to be reacting to top 7 scary ghost videos to make your stomach drop. I am excited. This is first from top 5. Uh, I was thinking I was going to do a full actual investigation. Issue with that is uh, I did do one. It's just I, the editing it down I, I, I'm not a fan of. It's like, okay, so the thing is, I don't want to show everything so that you still got to go watch their video because it just makes sense to go watch their video, right? Um, show them su support. You know, it, it, my thing is, like, I don't want to, like, just watch their video and then not give anyone reason to go watch their video and give them love on their channel, you know? If you want to watch the full investigation, you got to still watch it on their channel. And obviously, I don't want to show all the good parts because, you know then you might not want to go watch it on their channel. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know how I want to do full investigations. But anyways, so that's why I try and stick to top fives, count, countdown, not count, countdowns, compilations and whatnot. But here we go. Here's some top five. I'm excited. Let's go. You know you got to have the lights off when you start watching these. You know, you got to have it. You're doing it wrong if you don't have your lights off. Okay? Up to the creepy fact. Just saying. Fearsome top five. Thank Get you. Ready to witness some of the scariest videos found online. Okay. One. Ooh. Lately, across the internet, talk of aliens and UFOs has continued to spread like yeah. wildfire. I've heard the one in Nevada. More people posting videos online of the bizarre things they spotted in the sky. Well, TikTok user Contagious Smiles recently posted a video that can only be described as otherworldly. Love it. What? What was what? No. Oh, those the things that look like they could just be lights. I thought those are just regular like street lights, but now they're moving. So I don't know. Multiple glowing lights can be seen floating through the sky. These strange yellow balls of light seem to appear out of thin air. As Could be flares. Towards the right. This is they're all kind of in unison. This TikTok user scratching his head, trying to come up with a logical explanation. So could these glowing orbs be ET just stopping <laughs> by, or something a lot more explainable? Number two, coming from an unknown source, this next video almost instantly gave me chills. Nice. An unknown woman began documenting the dark force inside of her home, often attempting to catch video proof of the chilling events unfolding around her. With no Great. such luck, she knew that no one would ever believe her. Well, that was until she managed to catch this. Oh, yeah. I feel like I've seen this one. Where there's like a hand or something coming from underneath the stairs. A couple hands, yeah. Who's Down your dog? the staircase, a ghostly white pair of hands appeared from the darkness. These pale hands looked to reach upwards as if they were reaching for the woman recording. Amazingly, the woman behind the camera showed no fear as she quickly rushed down the stairs. But in the split second it took her to reach the basement, the hands quickly disappeared. As she panned the camera around, no one could be seen under the stairs or in the room. So who or what did these hands belong to? Yeah, it's still, that's still creepy. I have no the idea. The man named Jeremy is the newest owner of the historic Jefferson Hotel located in Jefferson, Texas. Built in 1851, this 172-year-old building is infamously known for being extremely haunted. With countless oddities and antiques scattered throughout the hotel. Oh, I feel like I've seen some videos from this. And that looks like Prince Farquaad. <laughs> One day, from Jeremy Trek. discovered a hidden sealed off <laughs> room up in the attic. After doing I'm sorry. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. Does that not look look like Prince Farquaad from Shrek? Like, 
I mean, you can't see the hair, but if you imagine he had, like, shoulder-length hair and whatnot, that looks like that could be Prince Farquaad. You know? That this was something called I'm just saying. Room, a place <laughs> to hide away a child you're disappointed in. Jerry what? Then looked into the history of the previous owners and discovered a family that had a disabled child that was kept in this room until they eventually died. Well, recently, Jeremy and his daughter went up to this room to take some pictures. Ah, that's terrible. And what catching is downright terrifying. Here are the three pictures. She got a Harry Potter that, um, room. I took that, you know, you saw in the video. There's the first one. Second one, there's nothing there. It's not even a floor. Third one is my daughter McKenna. Fourth one, you can kind of oh, see that's something from start to manifest. And then finally... Oh my There's gosh. What I see, you know, the little boy. I Jeremy. thought it was a little clown at first. <laughs> the ghostly image of a child wearing old I feel bad. Clothing appeared in one of their photos. Is this small childlike face with a collared button shirt can clearly It looks be like seen. there's something going on the with the of like this nose. Image immediately took Jeremy's breath away. So could this be the ghost of the child that was kept in this room? So I wonder what was wrong with the child that they had photo? to hide away. Number 4. The Midwest Ghost Hunter is a YouTube channel run by a man named Ian, who bravely conducts paranormal investigations completely alone. Hell no. Hell no. Why would anybody want to do that alone? Yeah, nah. I was debating, I was like, I mean, maybe I could. Nah, 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 Nope, nope. I don't, I just... I don't understand it. I don't, but... In recent video, he set out in the middle of the night to investigate the infamously haunted Vicksburg Cemetery. Located in Minnesota, this forgotten cemetery sits hidden within a wooded area. Several urban legends surround this old graveyard, and Ian was ready for anything as he set foot on the property. I bet he wasn't. He wasn't ready for anything. Coming towards you, whoever you are. I hear somebody walking up and down this trail. It's you. <laughs> Could you walk towards me? <gasps> oh my god. See, okay, the problem is because he's walking as well, it's hard to determine if it's his or if it's someone else's, right? So that's what make that's immediately makes it just kind of like I don't know. But yeah. Interesting. Oh, shit. oh my god. Oh. You I'm did sorry. Ask you almost gave me a heart attack. I know I asked you to do that, but damn. <laughs> Holy moly, I didn't think you were going to actually do it. Don't ask Those if you don't were want now it. Much closer and more defined. Yet, as you can see in front of me, there is nothing but an empty void. <laughs> I could definitely hear it, but I'm still not fully convinced Who it's not you? his footsteps. You I know. I hear you, but I don't see you. Could you show yourself? After asking any spirits to walk towards him, Ian got exactly what he asked for. And as he made his way through the cemetery entrance, he received an intelligent response. Uh oh. All right. Entering the cemetery. Hmm. All right, I'm coming over to visit. I hope you don't mind. Oh my gosh. This whole grave is in shambles. I'm sorry that your tombstone has been destroyed. What happened? Is it vandalized? <gasps> Whoa. Okay, I just heard you. Say yes. At this moment, a woman's whisper intelligently responds to my question. That's unfortunate. I just heard a female whisper on here. Okay, I heard you. Thank you so much for speaking with me. I don't know how often you get visitors, but 
I'm here right now. If there's anything you'd like to say, now's your chance. Tell me who did this. You trying to make contact with a ghostly presence nearby, and it looks like he succeeded. Okay, okay, first off, probably should have asked, I'm sorry who did this, right? Okay, yeah, okay, that's fine. But then ask if it's friendly or not, okay? I feel like that should always be one of the top five questions you ask an unknown entity, right? If I'm going somewhere and I... I start getting friendly with this entity and whatnot, and all of a sudden, it's like, oh yeah, I forgot, are you friendly? And like, no. You know? And he was like, no, I'm not. Right? And all of a sudden, you're like, got it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Like, it might be too late. It might be too late. Like, as soon as you get in, you ask, are you friendly? And if they say, no. Or like, or like, I mean, if, they, if it was a high-pitched note, like, no, I feel like that might be a bit different. It might be kind of funny, but, I mean, even still. If it says no, you you can get, you need to get out. If you're still here... Just saying. Could you tell me your name? Because, unfortunately, there's... There's really no way for me to tell. And I really want, don't want to dig around your... Grave shambles. Because I don't want to damage it any further. You don't have to be shy, ma'am. As I said, I'm just here to visit. I'm here with nothing but respect. I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes right now. <laughs> but that's okay. It's worth it. If I could just hear your voice one more time. Here? Whoa. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So she said I heard that. Here? I heard you once again. <laughs> Whoa, you just drained my battery too. Dang, dude. All right. I'm gonna review this when I get home and I'll know your message. The woman's whisper returns once more and sounds like it is saying. The same ghostly feet. See, okay, the problem when, when they put words on the screen is I could totally hear that. If they don't put the words on the screen, all I can hear is here. Here. See, but now I, all I think about is it's lonely here. And that's literally all I can hear. By the way, this is a creepy ass picture to stop on. I like the picture. <laughs> but, anyways, that's. Yeah. Eerily saying it's lonely here. With a static camera set up, Ian then managed to catch something that he can't explain. Hello? I heard you walking again. I would really like to get to know you. Oh, it is so scary out here. You have no idea how freaky it is. My infrared camcorder just captured this ethereal form drifting through the darkness. Oh, be the same spirit that has been walking up and down this trail all throughout the night. I was looking at the wrong area. Figure darted by, moving from left to right. This barely visible figure moved within the darkness of the night, while Ian was completely unaware of what was behind him. According to urban legend, one of the tombstones in the cemetery is said to sometimes have an eerie glow. And Ian was determined to put this tall tale to the test. I heard that this grave glows in the dark. Could you show me this phenomena? I'll shut off my light. If this grave glows, could you make it light up right now? Whoa. Holy crap. Dude, I just seen like a light float by that tombstone. Like an orb, possibly? A glowing spirit orb suddenly floats in front of the old tombstone. I still don't like orbs. Did you just appear? I always say it's dust. Okay? Dust, dirt, bug. You outside in the forest possibly a bug caught on this light that's pointing towards him 
granted, there is a tree trunk that would be blocking where the trunk, the tombstone is. Granted that. So it's it's this is more likely going to be. I don't know. I just I'm not a big fan of orbs. Okay, that's just me. Okay, it's not saying it's not an orb. I'm just saying. This one actually could be more of an orb because, again, the light's not bouncing off of something. Still could be dust, still could be a bug, still could be anything else, but... I'll take my light away again. If that was you, could you appear like that again? <gasps> oh my god! But then it, it does it, it twice, makes it a little bit more... Yet again, I capture the same you know? glow, only this time, much more clearly... Could these be the phantom glows that have been reported over the years? That was freaking cool. Could you do that one more time? See, if it does it three times, then it's kind of harder to explain away. Oh, whoa, whoa. What the hell was that? Suddenly, the fence begins rattling by itself without reason. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. This is a bit weird. That sounded like the fence. Did you just rattle this fence? If that was you, and you just rattled this fence, could you do it again? Whoa. That's kind of cool. See, I like it when it does something like that, where you ask Dude, something and it responds. This fence keeps rattling. You know? Upon request, the fence rattles once more, further validating that I was not alone. What's your name? Here, I could try to read your grave. What does Get that closer. say? Get closer. Nanny? Is your name Nanny? Whoa. Okay. You can't go around? That I take that as a yes. On the left? Thank you. Does that oh, say what cool. I think it says? Okay, well there it goes. Five years old? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. That is so tragic. I'm sorry. That is. Maybe that's why you come off so playful. I hate my seeing little kid Ian. graves. It it really makes like me to sad. Be your friend. Is there anybody else that's buried here? <gasps> Whoa, I just heard your voice. I didn't hear what it said, but yeah. Could you say it once more? Dude, oh my god, I just heard you again. That's kind of cool. I just received an intelligent response <laughs> from what sounds like a ghostly little girl and now realize that there actually may be two spirits haunting this gravesite. Or Bickle, it's a demon. Away at the age of five. And Ida Bickle, who passed away at age seven. Oh. I can also say lay down. From ghostly orbs to disembodied voices. It know. looks like Ian was indeed making contact with someone from the other side. Or a demon. tactics, Ian began taking photos on a digital camera. And what was caught in the last photo is truly chilling. Post for the photo. Yo, it's not little girls. Could you smile? Alright, I'm gonna count to three, okay? And I want you to pose for this photo. One, two, three. If you look at this photo closely, there appears to be two misty Aww. little girls staring into the camera from the gravesite. They both appear to be in their adolescence, have long hair and dark beady eyes. In the photo taken afterwards, they are completely gone. I was yeah, that's creepy. In the belief that Nanny and Ida's ghosts were in my presence. I now have photographic proof to back it up. Damn. 
two small ghostly figures appeared to be standing next to the fenced in grave. That's really sad, Dark though, you know? And small childlike faces stared back at Ian, seeming to pose for the photo. These incredible captures throughout the night just go to show how active the Vicksburg Cemetery truly is. Number five. Okay, yo, I'm kind of curious, though. Okay, so what if he... What if... What if somebody constantly goes to the graves and the ghost girls start to recognize them? I'm okay, I'm just thinking like so if someone goes let's say kinda like how you go to well you go visit your family often, especially when you have a newborn, they see you around a lot and they'll be a little bit more comfortable around you, right? So what if someone does that with the ghost girls and for one, you have to make sure you say, you're not allowed to follow me home. I will come visit you. You do not come visit me. Right? So after that, if he comes visits more, then maybe he can get more evidence. Right? Possibly. Am I just talking up my ass here? <laughs> is, this, is that not how it goes, honey? Is that not how any of this works? <laughs> I'm just saying. Ben runs the Canic Massive Explorers TikTok account, where he's began posting his video evidence. Recently, while accompanied by a friend, Ben set out to investigate an old abandoned military base. Okay. With no one else around, the guys made their way through the base, still weary of what may be hiding around the next corner. In an attempt to make contact, Ben set up a teddy bear on the floor, telling any nearby spirits to knock it over. And amazingly, this is what happened next. You put it in something that looks like, come on now. Could be the wind, but okay, yeah. Hey, good guys. I highly doubt it's the wind, just because I would think that it would take more than the wind just to knock it over, unless it's very strong. In which then it might push the guy over, Ben over, but like... I did ask, I did ask you to push that bear over, so well done. <laughs> and again. Guy? It's just the way that it's falling makes me think it's not the wind. Suddenly fell backwards, completely on its own, almost as if it had been pushed by someone we cannot see. And after setting it back in place, it amazingly fell over once again. So take notes on your next paranormal investigation. Make sure you're equipped with a teddy bear. Number six. <laughs> The WinMC Picks TikTok account is run by a man who's been documenting the paranormal presence in his home for the last few years. On an almost daily basis, he can feel something dark looming over him, often moving objects and opening doors. These chilling occurrences have become so common that he rarely gets frightened these days. But what he recently managed to catch on video sent chills down my spine. Go lie down. It's okay. Lie down. Stay. I've been doing this all morning and I don't have time for this today. <laughs> Stop. Hey, buddy. We, I don't, I got too much going on. You got to cut it out. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. I'm just going to set it up. Get the towels. And we'll just let the phone roll. What the hell? There was a figure. What the fuck? Yo, I love how he's just so busy. He's like, nah, we ain't playing this game today. As usual, the door to his basement began to open on its own. But when this door opened, it like stood up. A chilling dark figure slowly emerged from the darkness. Despite repeatedly closing the door, this ominous being you need to get that shit locked. Looking to get closer and closer every time. 
And as the door opened once more, this small figure seemed to transform into a massive black... Yeah, yeah. As soon as he said, little buddy, it's like, oh, I'm little, huh? I'm coming to get you, my man. <laughs> oh my gosh, what in the hell? This bone-chilling figure now towered over its previous smaller form. But who knows, he could be friendly, and maybe he's just looking for someone to play with. I don't give a shit. Number seven. It don't matter. Over on the Haunted Side <laughs> YouTube channel, <laughs> it does not matter. Patrick and Jason set their sights on the extreme Must be at your damn mind. Charles Hotel. Hell no. Nah. Carson City, Nevada. This historic hotel has been in operation for over 150 years. And with such a long history, there's bound to be tragic events along the way. As the duo began their investigation, things were immediately off to a very active start. Is it shoes? Men. Branches. Hell. <laughs> Men. Branches. Hell. <laughs> Yo, why is it going to say hell like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I want to listen to that again. That was funny. Branches. Hell. <laughs> Already? <laughs> what the heck? Did it say men? It said ran hell and then ran. 6.1. Six Did you see that? And it got hotter. It's up to 82 degrees in here now. How are you wearing a sweat jacket in a. Did you hear that? I'm sorry, I did, I did not. Did you hear that? No, I did not. The guys continued exploring the I, I heard nothing. Of the hotel until eventually this happened. And we're going back in. Here's the view from the camera that was running right here, and you can hear that sound and see something fall. Oh. Patrick and Jason then made their way. That was the smallest little thing, though. I was, I was like, where is it? It dropped from a thing. Blah, blah. Patrick and Jason then made their way to some of the most haunted rooms. I don't know what that was, but still, was it was bizarre. Is that you? Looks like a Christmas tree outside. So, that was weird. So I got like a smell of like, like floral, like almost perfume. And then I felt like a little, like a little touch or like a little pressure what's really compelling about this is that i feel and smell something and then keep an eye on this window that was weird is that you it looks as if some kind of white mist just disappears off to my right that was weird Is that you? After feeling a pressure on I feel like I to oh okay. silhouette can be seen walking past the window. This misty figure appeared and walked away from Patrick conveniently after he felt something touch him. After adjusting the brightness, this chilling figure becomes easier to see. I and guess it definitely looks like something was in the room with them. That's hard to As see. the night went on, the guys eventually made their way to room okay. 305. Sure. One of the most haunted rooms in the entire hotel. After a few unsuccessful attempts at trying to make contact with any spirits in the room, they decided to head to another part of the hotel. But it was at this moment that their static camera caught something terrifying. Something was behind the door. The energy in this room got so intense that both Jason and myself had to leave this room. Little did we know we were about to capture something unbelievable.
Was that part of the video? It's absolutely incredible that right after this really strange light anomaly, it appears that some kind of white shadow just disappears into that bathroom. Huh? Shortly after walking out of the room, a figure can be seen moving. This chilling figure looked to be standing with its head down before disappearing into the bathroom. The guys were unaware of this capture until reviewing their I'm blind, the apparently. But chances are, while they were investigating room 305, <laughs> this figure was probably watching them the entire time. I guess I could kind of see it better there. Hear more from your boy. I don't know about that last one, but I'm not knocking it. It's just like, I couldn't see it. Let me know if you were able to see it because I couldn't see shit. I know that getting older, my eyesight's probably going to get worse and worse and everything. But gosh dang it. I, it, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> I'm, I didn't see shit. Some of these, I'm just like, how are you seeing this? What, how, what? What? Like, I know it's dark in here and whatnot, and I turn the lights off for the video, but some of them, I don't see it. I don't see it. Let me know if you saw every single one of them. Like, I kind of saw them once they pointed it out. But that last one, I didn't see no white mist. Either of the two times. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. Let me know what else I should react to in the comment section below. I still got some more Kamen Rider. I got some more Super Sentai. And I got some more Geography now. And I got a lot more music that I need to be doing, bringing up on this channel again. So, subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in upcoming videos.